me and Far I have been debating this topic we gotta do on the podcast, right? I have this <laughs> theory that marriage will be borderline obsolete <laughs> by the year twenty sixty. Yeah, yeah. I came to this conclusion not from any marriage statistics and not even adults, but actually of observing teenagers, right? Yeah. Uh <clears throat> you mentioned prior same characteristics. Uh no resilience. Uh, patience and no, patience. No interest in commitment. Nope. And I really saw it in sports scene. This is where I really came to the conclusion in regards to how the, the words that they use in sports, like them, they played back, mm-hmm. they lost. Like mm-hmm. you're not on the team, you didn't yeah. play the game. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, no concept of compromise. Nope. Right? What are your thoughts? Do you think mm-hmm. long term in our society that marriage will even be an institution? Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I don't know. Um, marriage is hard. Marriage takes resilience. Marriage takes uh, an ability to handle adversity, compromise. Marriage takes number one is patience. But see, this is number one. Back to the the, the, the there's a toy Eric Erickson. He says that that to uh, you have to have an identity before you can be intimate, right? If you don't know who you are or what you're capable of doing, or you don't have a real sense of what I am, right? You can't be in a relationship because number one, you'll do whatever the other person is saying because you because you know who you are, right? And there can't be no compromise because everything's an attack because you know who you are. <clears throat> the other thing goes back to what we talked about uh, in regards to social media. Why do I have to be committed and go through all this struggle where I could go online and click and get what I like right away? Right? So the, the idea, it has some, now these are deep relationships. There are relationships that endure, but they're quickly satisfying relationships. Right? Now, the other problem is, again, in terms of men, the role of men in our society. If men aren't working, and men don't know what they're supposed to be doing, if men don't know what they can contribute, what are women going to be looking for in terms of a mate, or any other person going to be looking for? And that's a that's a big problem, right? What 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 is what is somebody contributing to the relationship, not just monetarily, but emotionally and otherwise, right? And if we aren't cultivating these kind of uh, attributes in young men or young women from an early age, right? what it means to be in a healthy relationship or modeling that in any way, we, we have, they have no clue. So yeah, marriage in terms of being a, a, an institute, a institution 40 years from now, probably not. Because the problem, the, the, the real problem is what will it mean to be human 40 years from now? I don't know we'll be human. <laughs> Forget marriage. I don't know we'll be human. What, what, what will we be in terms of humanity 40 years from now? That, that's, a, that's a scary point. It'll, it'll be completely different because so much stuff will be automated and AI driven. I mean, you could, you'll basically be sitting in your house with a some kind of apparatus on, getting all your needs met. So, what are you gonna need to be married for, or or, 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 or explore what it means to be human, or develop in a certain way? That's really the problem. Now, will we have humans to get married? That's a bigger issue.